wouldn't be over for Kiari Harris. She is the Buffalo mother who's been locked in a homeschooling battle for months now. Tonight, we've learned she's going to soon be reunited with her children. But it's not all good news. She's actually in jail tonight following a bizarre turn of events at court earlier today. Our Hannah Bueller reports. I don't think I've, ever, I've seen anything quite like this before. Single mother Kiari Harris at the center of a battle over homeschooling is spending the night in the Erie County Holding Center following a brawl that erupted at her custody hearing inside Erie County Family Court Wednesday. All of a sudden, this door cracked open and we saw this gentleman getting you know, severely assaulted by officers. Duncan Kirkwood is a Harris supporter who was inside Family Court when the arrest was made. He says he and other supporters were wearing shirts reading hands off Harris. Harris children. When they were told to take the shirts off, he says an officer went after another supporter. At one point he was on the ground and we saw them throwing punches while he was face down on the ground. I guess they were saying on video she put her hand out to try to stop another officer from jumping in and beating up her friend. That's that's the most of what she could have possibly done in that instance. Harris's lawyer says she was arrested for obstructing governmental administration. The other man, Damone Henderson, according to New York court's officers, had an outstanding warrant in family court and was arrested on the same charge. I was threatened to be arrested just for simply trying to speak to my client. That was the air um, or the tenor of what was taking place. Harris's attorney, Matt Albert, says despite the commotion outside the courtroom, Inside, things went rather well. I guess to a certain extent, to their credit, um, they more or less folded and allowed finally, you know, at long last, these children to come home to Miss Harris. Kiari Harris will be arraigned Thursday in Buffalo City Court on the obstruction charge. Her attorney says she has to go through two supervised and two unsupervised visits before she can get her kids back, but they're hoping to have the children returned by the end of the week. Reporting in the newsroom, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.